die-offs of honeybees threaten not only insects, but agriculture as well. Researchers know a parasitic mite is doing it. And now for the first time, they know how it's being done. Alex Dimitrik reports on the breakthrough at the University of Maryland. Honeybee hives are kept on the roof of a science building at the University of Maryland. They are also bred in the lab by Dr. Samuel Ramsey for his research into what's killing them. It's long been known that a parasitic mite called Varroa destructor is to blame. They are actually widely considered to be the greatest threat to honeybee health. Um, they are causing colonies to collapse all over the world. They are a global issue. They might not look it, but these mites are big for parasites. Say a bee was the size of a person. Imagine a creature this large sticking its mouth parts into your body, liquefying your liver, and sucking that out of your body. And that is exactly the discovery Ramsey and his team made. The mites feed on a liver-like organ called the fat body. For decades, it was thought the mites drank bee blood. And that's where research was focused on controlling them by introducing a toxin to kill the mites and save the bee. But they've always put that toxin in the bee's blood. What we know now is that if we want it to get to the mites, we have to put it in that organ, the fat body. That now means developing a toxin for that organ that's fatal to mites, but not bees. And this one is just emerging from a cell. The mites that threaten bees also threaten us. About two-thirds of all the fruits and vegetables we consume uh, are pollinated by honeybees, and we would see a dramatic reduction in yield for these plants. Some of them wouldn't be able to grow at all. Hence the urgency in saving the bees that feed us from the parasitic mites that eat the bees. Alex Dimitri, WJZ.